Mm -hmm. Hello friends of the Northern Entertainment and welcome here to another trailer review um, as you guys probably seen already there was a release well the release at 4 a.m this morning actually from giants of course i couldn't cover that right then and there because 4 a.m um that being said though now we're gonna have a look here at the trailer and then i'm gonna stop the trailer at different points just to point a couple of things out that i've noticed that being said though i do have to make a apology and uh, also rectify something and i got a little bit too excited i think uh when i seen the new body style of man and i completely forgot that if, about the fact that fs17 had indeed a man semi tractor already in the forestry package but seeing this particular body style with a power finger crane uh well took me a little bit by surprise by it so i do apologize there for the wrong clearly wrong statement and uh, yeah i am aware of that thank you very much so that being said though let's get into the trailer and uh, the map as far as i'm concerned from what i see there is most likely the the us map why do i say that well for one thing back there that looks awfully like stars and stripes and those buildings here too so we see a couple of new tractors here the t7 and here we have to go back for just a second and that is something that i have to point out um on the now beside the fact that you can obviously see the fan turning which is a really nice thing and it started i think i think this is really um i'm not sure if it is or not but um it started uh, while well, we started to see uh, rotating fans on engines uh, with a big butt dlc that's when the models became a lot more detailed um and it is a nice yeah it's it, it just it uh, shows you where they started and how far they came also i would like to point out that this is in-game graphics you can tell that if you look at the plow textures and whatnot uh this is not cgi anymore uh that being said though this challenger here uh one of the things that i notice obviously you can look inside the hood through the mesh but this mesh is just a texture the reason that i can tell you tell you that it's just a texture with certainty is if you look into um this part here then you can see because that is one thing alpha textures do not like to be upon each other there is to this day there will always be artifacts with alpha textures and this one here obviously um has just the outside applied with an alpha texture obviously with pbr materials but uh you can see how you can just look through there and usually you would see the other mesh in the back if that was actually modeled so this is really just a texture which is not to say it's not good but that's just something to be aware of it is a texture it's not a model it couldn't be a model really um because so many little holes that would be so many uh, polygons it, it would kill your performance right then and there that being said it looks really good here we have a 6r and uh, a really nice tractor here again you see the front and you can look through here i mean it, it is really great that you can now actually see the um the engine in behind that is something that i personally like very much to see yeah potato harvester a new cedar and this is something that i know a lot of you guys probably already realized a 515 charlie uh power it fend which of course means this is an older tractor and that could possibly mean that we will tractors like they were released here in the last little bit like uh, the young timer dlc and all that um probably gonna be uh, right in in the base game right from the beginning also what you can see here very nicely is the detail of the of the uh, uh driver cabin in itself um giants if i could look or well, if i look back at where it began and uh, where we are now with uh, farming simulator it's it's like night and day and the fact that we have this trailer here using in-game graphics and if you actually 
put the intro of uh, Farming Simulator 17, which is completely CGI, compared to this, which is in-game graphics, then you realize how much the engine came along. It is really... It was shocking to me because I, I did that actually. I had them side by side running and uh, it looks just like one and the same. And again, this is not CGI at this time. Um, further, let's look what else we see here. Of course, here the weeder. And there's our cotton grown. potato harvest and uh, here again um to see those uh, 635s those case um really high in detail uh, really nice textures and you can see a little bit here if we go back you can see how the crops that are not directly hit by the header uh, how they just bent out of the way That is one big bale. And here you have the transport uh, trailer for, for the cotton bales. And honestly, that is something that I'm completely unfamiliar with as cotton harvest. And yes, of course, one of the trucks. And if you look, uh, obviously this is a lizard, um, a very generic. Although, if I would put a Freightliner batch on here, then you would have uh, a hard time telling me this is not a freight liner because the, the, the general shape of the hood and of the um, of the hood of the grill um, really reminds you of a 09 classic and uh, yeah you can see it's definitely a fifth wheel trailer it's an interesting trailer for sure i never seen it before like that um, what else yeah it there's a lot more detail this time to it than on the other ones. But I think that's basically everything I wanted to point out to you guys here on this trailer. And uh, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below uh, what you think of this. And uh, yeah, if you agree, if you disagree. And again, I apologize for my definitely wrong statement uh, that I made in the other video. But I am only human as well, and sometimes I get too excited. Not the best in journalism, really, but it happens. And it happens to big outlets, too. That all being said, thank you so much for watching. Stay with the channel for the latest news on FS19, and, uh, of course, for a lot of gameplays, uh, let's plays. And also FS, more FS17 stuff as we are ramping up towards November 20th when uh, Farming Simulator 19 will be released. Until next time, Northern Alex signing off. Thanks for watching and God bless.